Hi, we are Yıldız Over Team and welcome to Yıldız Technical University, Istanbul. We will introduce you our first generation rover, Sparkle. Our rover's modular chassis is made of TCO aluminum, which is durable, reliable and allows us to make configurations between missions. We have integrated a rocker suspension system with a differential bar mechanism to the chassis. This system allows the rover to overcome high obstacles and to keep the vehicle in balance in rough terrain conditions. 3D printed airless TPU tires features vertical and arrow shaped horizontal treads to improve traction performance. Thanks to high torque brush DC model, we ensure the rover can climb up to 45 degrees of slope without slipping over. The rechargeable 18650 cell battery was preferred as the main power source considering the electronic equipment that require high current. We designed battery management system, power distribution, motor driver, encoder, sensor peripheral and TCD1304 PCBs to be used in the rover. Rover's internal communication consists of especially CAN bus and UART protocols. The external communication between the rover and control station is based on 5.8 GHz access points and an omnidirectional antenna up to 1 km range. Then vehicle locations of PCBs and other electronic equipment were decided by considering emergency scenarios. In addition, easily accessible and emergency stop button was placed on the rover that will shut it down under any circumstances. For the autonomous test, we use various sensors on the rover, such as RTK GNSS, 3D LiDAR, magnetic encoders, and stereo camera. We obtained a unique odometer data by using multiple sensors data. Using this data in MoveBase package, we let the rover know its position and enable it to reach the desired location precisely. While reaching the given destination point, the rover avoids all obstacles and creates possible paths. Then it chooses the least costly path. A stereo camera was chosen for excellent observation. Also, a micro camera was used to zoom images in science analysis and a camera was aimed at robotic arm to become faultless in action. When the rover reaches the navigation zone, it searches for markers near them. According to the count of markers, it plans and executes motion successfully. We combine detected markers with depth from a stereo camera to obtain an accurate distance. After the object to be reached by the robotic arm is determined, a collision-free trajectory is created towards the object with the joystick or RVs interface. We merge the data from the stereo camera and LiDAR in RVs to create a collision-free trajectory and make the robotic arm gain perception. We also use absolute encoders to retrieve joint data to match with movement calculated data properly. In our six-axis robotic arm, we use high-reduction DC motors and linear actuators that provide smooth and effective sensitivity. The arm also can easily handle a payload of up to 5 kilograms with end effector. The carbon fiber tubes give us high durability and lightness. The clamps connecting the linear activator to the carbon fiber tubes also offer us an adjustable range of motion. The end effector is a lead secure mechanism with a micro motor and two fingers moving parallel to each other. The gripping surface of the end effector is covered by rubber to increase gripping capability. We carried out our studies on the distinction between extinct, extant and no life by following the biochemical activities of such as chemotrophs and phototrophs. We analyzed the environment's temperature, humidity, pressure and several gas levels such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen dioxide and ammonia to observe the suitability of the environment for extant life. The digital microscope allows us to examine the traces of extinct life without sampling. We interpret the color tones and sediment shapes on the rock and soil surface using our sedimentology archive and Mansell color charts. We use a drill mechanism to take soil samples from the surface. The samples are transferred to the science mechanism with the transfer arm. With our science mechanism, we can take soil samples from four different locations and transfer them to correct cells. Then, analyze the samples both with our analytical devices and chemical tests. We examine the pH and temperature values of the sample to test the soil suitability for the extant life conditions. We are also investigating the presence of MPK elements in the environment, which are necessary for the survival of photoautotrophs. Also, a custom-made VIS spectrophotometer is used to detect the compounds in the soil, such as chlorophyll and carotenoid. After the analytical device's measurements, colorimetric tests are used to observe the presence of protein and lipid. The spectrophotometer is then used to measure biomolecules after the tests are added into the cuvettes. 